15. Three goals, three points, clean sheet. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, it doesn't get any better, does it? Coming to the Emirates and getting a win. And I was very disappointed last season, obviously, uh, you know, leading twice and uh, they had a man sent off and they came back to win the game. Um, disappointed again that the supporters aren't here to, to celebrate that victory. It was a great victory, a great performance. Uh, and I think what pleased me most was the work without the ball. Um, you know, how hard we worked, uh, how organised we looked. And because there's no fans here, you could see it, you could hear it and you could feel it today that, you know, there was no way through us. I spoke about the last game against Southampton, that it wasn't a 4-0 game and that the defensive shape was still actually quite good. To keep a clean sheet again, the defensive organisation was there, as it has been since the start of this season and going back to the end of last season as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I explained the Leeds performance, you know, tactically we got a little bit wrong. Um, you know, Southampton, for me, was a one-off. It was never four, four goals and three of them from set pieces, one from outside the box. Very, very rarely happens in a football game. So I wasn't, you know, uh, overly concerned, you know, uh, defensively. I know that we're a much better team defensively now than we were last season. Um, you know, so it was just about putting on a performance today and making sure... You know that some people can sometimes get sidetracked by score lines and results, and uh, you know you've got to look at facts. Not many people will score from two free kicks outside the box, and you know a 25-yarder into the top corner. It doesn't happen in one game very often. So um, that was probably the most pleasing thing that we probably silenced, uh, you know, the doubters of, of our defensive record so far. Looking at the other end of the pitch, two more goals for Ali Watkins in the second half. He loves a big game. Ah, he does. I thought he was outstanding. His work rate. I thought he was a little bit loose in the first half. I thought he bounced off him a couple of times. But his work rate and his his energy is second to none. And you know he'll be the first to to thank the lads who put them, who set him up as well. I think it was Roscoe for the first and uh, and Jack for the second. His second. You know, and Trez has got his customary goal against Arsenal as well uh, in the first half. And you know he he came back in and you know showed us what, what he's all about. Uh, it was a really good performance. Trezeguet goes a little bit under the radar with the arrival of, of Barkley and obviously the stars of midfield and Jack, the captain as well. How important is he to this team? He's very important. I mean, he's, he's, he's running numbers are, are incredible. Tactically, he's, he's got so much better. Um, you know, and it was tough for him and Cashy that side because they had Aubameyang, they had Saka who played inside and, and Tierney, who was normally a, you know, a left-back playing as a left-sided centre-half, but joining in all the time. So, you know, the, the two of them dealt with their three really well because it was a, a tough task. And your goalkeeper as well, coming back to the Emirates for the first time and keeping a clean sheet. Yeah, and he'll be he'll be chuffed to bits with that, you know. Um, you know, coming back where he'd spent so long, and um, you know, he knows that one game doesn't make it the right reason to move. But he's, you know, he's uh, been a, becoming an, an important part of our squad at the moment, and he'll certainly enjoy that one. And it's a perfect result as well to go into the international break. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, we finished the last one with a 7-2 victory over the champions and now to come here where we haven't done so well for a number of years. You know, it's uh, you know, a great result and, you know, sets us up nicely now for when we come back. Villa have a really good record in this stadium. Four Premier League away wins is second only to Chelsea. Obviously, the fans couldn't be here tonight. Do you have a message for them back home enjoying that result? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know... Uh, it hasn't cost them too much watching this game tonight, but they've certainly enjoyed it and raised their spirits tonight.